Hey everybody, it's Jen from Jen's Rack, and I saw that TexasWomenBloggers.com was doing a linky party with self-interview questions, so I decided that I was going to participate. So I'm going to read the questions. I thought that I would do it as a blog instead of just as a post because I love doing blogs and I'm crazy like that. But anyway, okay, so here are the questions and I'm going to answer them. All right, number one, what part of the state do you call home? Well, I was born and raised in West Texas, not the town West, but in the area, um, the Midland, Odessa area. And I mean, I kind of moved around a lot as a kid, but Midland, Texas was kind of where I called home for the most time. But now we live in Fort Worth and I love it. Oh my goodness. We've been trying forever to get out to the Dallas Fort Worth area. And um, almost two years ago, we finally took the plunge and just went for it, kind of a leap of faith. And here we are and I love it. So anyway, that's where I call home. Um, how long have I been blogging? Uh, I think it about, it's been about two and a half years. I started the blog over Thanksgiving break, um, I guess about two and a half years ago, and um, I've been doing it ever since. All right, number three, why did you start blogging? Well, I decided to start my blog, and it's called Jen's Rack, and RAQ has originally stood for Recently Asked Questions. And I started the blog because I was kind of the go-to girl for people. Uh, if they had a question about pretty much anything um, local or about birth or about, you know, parenting, uh, child care, education, etc., people would come to me and ask. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to put that information on a blog post, and that way it's easier for a bunch of people to access rather than having to answer it over and over and over. And it's kind of morphed since there. Um, what do I hope to get out of the Texas women bloggers community? Well, I love networking and I love um, working in cooperation with other bloggers and making new friends and finding new blogs to read and follow. And it's just a lot of fun. So that's what I hope for that. Uh, where do I see myself in five years? Um, well, I'll probably still be a homeschooling mom in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, hopefully I can become more of a work at home mom than I have been, I would really like to contribute financially to our family. So that's where I'm hoping to go with that. If I could choose to be an actress or an actress to play my life, who would I choose and why? I have no idea. That is a really tough question. I really don't keep up on celebrities and stuff like that, so I don't even know who to say to play me. So if you have a suggestion, I would love to see that in the comments. What actress should play me in a story of my life? I don't know. Uh, name five things on my bucket list that I hope that I'll be able to check off before I die. I'm beginning to think I should have read these questions before I started the video because I don't know about that either. Um, for my bucket list, I would like to say, um, let's see, I would like to, how about visit another country? I've been to Canada and I've been to Mexico and I would like to visit either one of those again or perhaps a different country. Um, I would like to um, be a successful work from home parent. So I would love to be able to fin financially contribute um, as if I were working outside of the home. Um, let's see, I would like to, I don't know. This is a really tough one. There are three more things I have to come up with. I need a dream big. Okay, I would like to release an ebook, um, either of homeschool lesson plans or um, a motivational product or something like that and distribute that to people. Um, I would like to be a public speaker for conferences or events or meetings. And let's see, one more thing. I would like to successfully graduate all of my kids from high school from homeschool. So I would love to see them all off um, into the world with a successful home education. Okay, so number eight, if you could be known for one thing, what would it be and why? That's tough. I would like to be known for being an encourager. I would like people to look at me and feel encouraged and see me as someone who encouraged them. I think that would be great. And that goes for my family and my kids and stuff too. I would love for them to feel like I was encouraging to them. Okay. Number nine, describe one wow moment in your life. 
probably the biggest wow moments for me have been the birth of my children. And I will say, like, and I know it's my own story, so it's kind of dorky that I'm like, oh my gosh, my favorite story. But my favorite story um, is I had had a C-section with my daughter, totally did not want the C-section. It was a planned birth center birth turned C-section. Um, anyway, so I had a C-section with her. So with my second child, I decided I wanted to have a home birth, vaginal birth. And so I had my V-back at home and it was a very short labor. It was like five hours of labor. And I pushed him out and I put him on my chest and while I'm holding him, I literally said, oh my gosh, it's like I hit the easy button. Yes, <laughs> childbirth can just be that easy. So anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. So that was a big wow for me, knowing that my body could do that, especially after I um, perceived my first birth as such a failure personally. So it was really awesome for me to have that wow moment of, oh my gosh, I did this. You know, so that was really cool. Uh, number 10, if I could be anything with no consequences and no fear, what would I be? Um, I would love to be a public speaker at some point. So, I don't know. I guess that's what I would like to be. And not necessarily like at conferences and things like that, but maybe through webinars or um, selling books or something like that to where I kind of just have my voice out there and I can encourage other people and maybe teach them a thing or two. I don't know. We'll see where that goes. But anyway, if you want to see others of these, there is a linky at um, TexasWomenBloggers.com. And if you want to see what some of the other people said, you can check out what they said and check out some other women bloggers from Texas. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.